Hey guys, welcome back to Vlogus. You got water in your bucket. Just use it. Jesse's on the porch. I'm sitting here watching him winding up yarn balls. <laughs> I've got a whole bunch of like half used skeins of like red heart and stuff that I always when they get fluffy I like to wind them into balls to make them easier to use. I prefer balls over cakes any day. The only time I cake yarn and I have a yarn winder is um, Hanks. When I have Hanks of yarn that need to be used <laughs> I cake it up but I would ball it up if I could and it didn't take forever. Um, I already made one, some scrap, and now I'm using another one. This is a red, or I love this yarn, <laughs> but I didn't film the last two days just because I was busy. Um, Sunday we were busy, the three of us together as family, and then yesterday I was just lazy about it, didn't want to do it. <laughs> so today I am back. Um, I took a little clip earlier of Jesse painting, I might throw that in here. Uh, yeah, so I got the dishwasher going. The TV is on in the back room. Uh, the girl that our baby sits in there watching it. Jesse's outside and the door is open. So there's probably background noise, but that's okay. So I'm just sitting here winding up yarn scraps. I just got done cleaning my entire craft area and reorganizing it and moving stuff around. Separating out my whips. I have two containers of whips now, technically three. Because I have a tote down here with my long term whips. All the blankets I'm working on the Jaden Stitches 2017 and 2019 cow. What? Oh, okay. Good job. Because it was all wet and dirty, and I got pee on it and don't Are they all clean now? Yeah. Good job. <laughs> he has a, a bucket of water out there he's playing with, and he was washing his teeth with it, but that's okay. Um, yeah, good job. Don't drink it, though. Um, the bucket, the tote down here is my Jaden Stitches. 2017 and 2019 calendar blankets and it's also got the unraveled mittens um squares in it and uh, the pillow i started forever girl that's like a snow scene <laughs> still haven't finished that uh so it's down there what nope don't blow it in the house hey you want some bubbles i found some bubbles when i was cleaning you want some bubbles yeah hold on let me get them for you <laughs> okay i gave him a bubble one <laughs> I found some up in there. You can kind of see them right there uh, when I was cleaning earlier. I still haven't cleaned my dryer off. It's dirty, but that's okay. <laughs> um, all right, don't spill them. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, and over here I have whips of things that need to be done. ASAP, which right now there's just... Oh, okay. Um, and I'm a groomie for the craft fair. And then beside it is a container of all my other whips that are personal whips. It's got a thing in it I'm making for my sister, uh, a hat that I want to make for myself, and my Christmas tree skirt. I'm watching. I'm going to blow up. You can blow. Oh, okay, show me. Wow, that's so cool. He's blowing bubbles in. Yeah. He's blowing bubbles in that bucket of. Um, water <laughs> uh my trees those are the whips for um after the craft fair mostly you know i might work on it in between but right now i'm trying to focus on amigurumis for the craft fair and then i will work on like personal things which is good because i found a lot of patterns that i don't want to make i really want to make one of those ponchos that um z showed and has been wearing it's like a really open um I think uh, Yolanda Soto Lopez, I think is how you say her name. I think she's got a video tutorial, but also found an actual written pattern on like Lion Brand or somewhere, someone's website for one similar. And I want to make one of those just for myself to wear. What? That, this, that wow, that's so cool. These, these yarns, let me show you. They're like half used um, Red Heart Blue, Delft, Delft Blue. Uh, I got them at the thrift store the other day. They're half used, but they were only 40 cents each. So I thought 40 cents each for 100 and something yards of yarn was pretty good. So, and I use, you know, little amounts for amigurumi, so I snatched them up. I always buy 
red heart yarn from there when I see it. They always, they usually have like random weird yarns. I have no idea what it is, but a lot of times they're like really weird and old. But when I see like a red heart or a line brand or something like that, I snatch it up. That's also the same thrift store that I, last year sometime, I found some Knit Picks yarn that was like $16.99, but they wanted a dollar each for them and I bought them and I ended up sending them to Hannah at the Cozy Cottage Crochet as a gift because I'd never used it. It's really thin. Anyways, now I'm working on the third ball and I got one, two, three, four, five more skeins to do and one of them is a jumble skein. It's from the blanket I just finished. I'm going to go ahead and wind it up in a ball so that I can finish the blanket once the fair is over and make it bigger than baby blanket because I don't need a baby blanket. I don't really need any blankets really. <laughs> But uh, speaking of blankets, I have something I'll show you later. My Halloween blanket from last year from Maria's Blue Crown. I got the fleece, felt fleece, for the back of it. And uh, last night I laid it out and cut it and sewed it. Tried to make the seams look as good as I could because I didn't have enough fleece to cover the whole thing in a solid piece. And uh, so I, I sewed it really good. My seams are actually really straight. I'm really proud of that. <laughs> now I just got to figure out how to sew it onto the blanket. Uh, I think I'm going to do is I'm going to hand sew it instead of machine sew it just around the four, you know, the border. And then I'm going to go through the middle where the, some of the squares meet. I'm going to like divide it up evenly and I'm going to make it. My mom used to have a bunch of homemade quilted blankets that were done this way. And they used yarn actually. They poked it through all the layers of the quilt and then tied it in like a knot, you know, to put, put it all together so that, you know, the crocheted part and the blanket part wouldn't come apart. But in fact, then, you know, it was the actual quilting parts. I think I'm gonna do that in the Halloween colors. I think it'd be cute that way and it'd be a lot easier than trying to sew it on my sewing machine. In theory, I might mess it up either way. But at least if I mess it up, I don't, I just, you know, it's my blanket so it doesn't matter if it's not perfect and I don't have to enter it in the fair. Although I want to. And um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. She has another one, two more of those blankets that I wanna make. She has a Christmas one and a uh, under the sea one that I wanna make. And I'd like to make another Halloween one just cause I really liked making it. I maybe gift it to somebody. Mama. Yes? Yeah. What? Wow. Okay. Yeah. Alright, just be careful and don't choke on it, okay? Wow, well go play, okay? My hair, look how frizzy it is. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the girl I just babysit left. Um, this is the last day I have her for summer break. She starts school back tomorrow, but I will have her again fall break. But I wanted to show you guys um, some stuff real fast. I'm not sure. Okay. That's just a grocery list, so it doesn't matter if you see that. <laughs> okay. So I cleared off that whole shelf and some of this one. Because I want to be able to put my sewing machine and stuff up there when I'm not using it on this table. And I want to use this yarn that was given to me recently. I want to make some emigrants with that. I want to try to. It's a uh, number six. And then my scrap balls are all down here. These are all scrap balls down here. And um, this is all variegated yarn. This is fabric scraps that I'm saving to make twine with, hopefully. <laughs> and down here is a bunch of just variegated and random yarns. And these are my fancy yarns and some I recently got. And these were gifted to me that I'm making something with. And then over here is a bunch of Hobby Lobby yarn I bought recently. Actually, I actually had to buy this shelf just for this yarn. I'm planning on making emigrammies with the majority of that. These are those two whip baskets I was talking about. This one only has one whip in right now, this bag. All these other ones are just empty project bags. Um, that's a dinosaur. These are the whips that I'm gonna be doing eventually, but not right now. They're not important enough to do right now. And then my table is all full of stuff. This is the Halloween blanket with um, the fleece or whatever I felt, <laughs> whatever it's called, um, that I'm gonna sell to it. This is one more skinny yarn I got a ball up. These are things I need to just finish. Weaving in ends, this needs a liner and then to put the strap on it. Those are all the yarn balls that I just wound up. <laughs> 
Um, the gray tote down there is the one with uh, long tom rips. This has got all my cotton yarn in it. This uh, container I'm using to put stuff I'm gonna enter in the fair in. Once I finish it, I'm just chucking it all in there. And then I actually put my marbles board upside down on here just to extend my table a little bit so I'd have a little bit more space. So that my sewing machine will go over there when I'm not using it, but I'm getting ready to make a whole bunch of bags. So um, I'm gonna leave that out for now. And that's Jesse's toy. <laughs> But yeah, so that's what I did today. I just kind of organized and cleaned, trying to make room for... I wanted some shelves inked over here. I was going to put my whips on this shelf and sewing stuff on this shelf, but I decided to leave my whips over here. So I'll just use this for more storage. And I'm uh, trying to go through a bunch of yarn. Because I gotta make sure not to film because my pattern's back there. I want to go through a bunch of yarn and clear up some space just to get rid of some yarn. You know, I've had a ton of yarn trying to avoid buying anything. I don't know if he was looking for me <laughs> but in here in my bedroom I actually have more yarn and uh, my all my stuff for the craft fair I'll show you guys that okay in here I have two more of the three drawer bookshelves three shelf bookshelves with a ton of red heart <laughs> it's pretty much all red heart there's some random um, what's that brand called I love this yarn and a couple things that were gifted to me that I'm not sure what they are but this is mostly full skeins some partially used, but they're more full than not. These are all magazines and crochet books and all that. And there's just a bunch of clutter on top of there and some more yarn and stuff. <laughs> and this big giant bag Devin got me from his work. They have big giant garbage bags. And we, we got it for something else, but he had an extra one. So this right here is full of all of my amigurumis and stuff finished for my craft fair. I just have them all piled up in there. And I'm just going to keep piling them in there because the plastic keeps them clean. And uh, I'll figure out a better way to store them eventually. <laughs> Maybe. And then this container here is all my fabric. This is like holiday fabric. All kinds of holidays. Not just Christmas holiday, but like Halloween and all that. This is big pieces of fabric. And then these are all little scrap pieces and stuff. Like I used to make um, crab bags with and stuff like that. And actually, I got enough of this to make some crab bags with. These are the Halloween prints that I will be putting in the shop soon. Whenever I uh, get around to cutting them. <laughs> And yeah, I think that's just about all of it. So I was just trying to organize stuff and get the craft room cleaned up because this morning it was horribly cluttered. Okay, he's laying on the couch. He's probably going to fall asleep soon. I got to figure out some... I show it's on TV in Spanish. <laughs> Neither of us know how to speak Spanish, but he watches it anyways. That would be so cool if he learned Spanish in the future to be bilingual. That would be so cool. I wish I was bilingual. I mean, I guess I kind of am. I can speak and read crochet, <laughs> if that counts. But this right here, y'all have seen before. This is one of those things you get at a hospital. I got this when I was pregnant, when I was in labor with Jesse. Um, never used it. It's like a water bath or sponge bath thing or whatever. But um, I use it as my trash can when I'm at my table. You know, any garbage from sewing and all that, I put in there. And then when I'm done, I just empty it into the big garbage can. And then I keep ramen noodle boxes <laughs> because yes we're not healthy we eat ramen noodles uh i have these everywhere because these are really good little boxes to store stuff in right now it's just got a bunch of random stuff when i was cleaning every time i found a pin or something i would chuck it in there and i'll sort it out eventually when i get out to it but yeah i think that's everything i got my wall over there of cards and stuff that people sent me recently uh i got a new card i got to put over there i got this one today and i'll share that in the uh no kitchen name episode but it's so cute <laughs> But um, I gotta stick that on there somewhere. All it is is a poster board with all the cards and stuff taped to it. And then I have the poster board hung up. That way I wouldn't have to tape everything to the wall and like tear the wall up. But yeah, that's everything. Oh, I wanted to show you the. Uh, let me move my notepad. I stuck it there. The uh, butterfly things the kids were painting earlier. Here they are. I'm sure you can tell which ones Catherine painted and then the ones Jesse painted. But I claimed the giant one. I'm going to use it to put the stitch markers in. You okay? Yeah. Alright, I thought you fell. I'm going to stick to the thing I did. What? I want to paint. No, we're not going to paint right now, okay? We'll paint tomorrow. I paint now. Anyways, what I was saying before Jesse came in here, I just flipped them all over so that the insides can dry. Catherine 
kept hers closed while she painted them, but now I can't get them open. I'm going to have to try to pry them open because they dried shut. Jesse had all his open and he painted the inside of a couple of them. So they got dry. But I'm going to keep this big one. This is the bottom and this is the top. Um, to put stitch markers and stuff in. I'm going to write on the bottom of it uh, the year and all that. And then I'll just let him play with these little ones. Or actually, I'm going to give this one to my mom. And then he can just have that little one to play with. And these are Catherine's. I'll give them to her whenever I see her next. <laughs> after I pry them open. But they are dried shut because they were painted together. But that's okay. We'll fix it. It took 40 years for the robot. Wow. Crash reconstructionist to find on the cover of the truth. And that his legs. And these are his arms. Wow. Because the arms make them pay all go. Yeah. Now you mean sweet. Put on there. It's okay. Good job. Yeah, he's you gonna done. Paint, you gonna give him some eyeballs? Yeah, I'll make them. The city of Perth sits on the western coast of the vast continent of Australia. Now, can we have to do a pink but test? Laid back Aussie lifestyle. So it could go by. Where beaches, barbecuing, and sport are critically important. 